So here we have our robot with a simple shading network applied. The shading network has an OSL shader, some Arnold shaders, and this is all running on the GPU. This is a good example of the level of support we had for OSL on the GPU last year. So we have some closures, we have simple arithmetic, we have Arnold and OSL shader interop, and we can run the same thing on the CPU and expect the same result. Uh, this was a good starting point for us. For the GPU, we could expose a way for users to write custom patterns and stuff, but there were some big parts of OSL that were still missing that uh, we've implemented over the last year. So first off, I'm going to show off some attributes which were added in 604. Uh, so previously, I've added some user data to this mesh to drive the color of each metal plate, and we're going to use the OSLs get attribute function to grab this color and uh, drive the color of our metal shader. So we're just going to call get attribute uh, on the attribute metal color I'm going to go ahead and compile that And now, once it is all jitted uh, by OSL, start rendering and see the result. So, as you can see now, the color is being grabbed by the mesh and is driving the color of our metal. So, this is looking a bit too new for my liking. We kind of want this robot to look a bit more like old and worn out. So, we're going to do something a bit more complicated. So previously I've written this shader that it basically does the same thing as our last shader, but it also has a diffuse closure, which is being driven by dirt color and a rust color. And then we have some weights applied to both of these. So we could, for instance, up the weight of the dirt and compile the shader again. And then once it's jitted, we're going to see basically there's going to be like a diffuse brown layer across our surface too. So this doesn't look too realistic. We kind of want to break up our dirt a little bit. Uh, so we're going to use a, a texture to do this. So I have this sort of like grunge texture on my system. And we're going to use this to mask our, our dirt. So simply have the get the file path. And then we're just going to call OSL's texture function on the file, compile our shader again, and now we have our texture driving the, the weight of the dirt on our texture. And we can, of course, switch back to CPU and we'll get the same result. So I also want to add some like rust to this mesh. I kind of want it to fall in these sort of corners where the plates of the metal meet. And to do that, we're going to use a trace call. So I previously written this function to do this. Essentially, it just traces rays uh, from the shading point around the uh, near points of that surface and then just gets the, the average angle between the normals and then we normalize that between 0 and 1. So we're just simply going to call this function uh, on our rust weight. Let me compile our shader again and then we're going to go ahead and jit this and then because this is using a tracing call. This can take a little bit longer because Optics has to recompile the whole shading network for tracing shaders. But once it's done, we'll see the result. So as you can see now, uh, we have some nice sort of like orange sort of rust in the edges where these plates are meeting and our old kind of robot is looking nice and it's done.